What he was was a guy who showed up every day, you know, who at practice, at, in games, in the meetings, whatever, he gave you everything that he had. There was just something about him that you knew that not only was he going to be a really good basketball player, but he was also going to be a winner, and that's kind of what he stood for. Nobody outworked him. Nobody loves the game more than he does. Nobody was in the gym more than, than he was. He's always been a very well-rounded basketball player. He's always been a good free throw shooter. He's always at a high field goal percentage. He's always been able to play off of instincts and use his quickness and his speed. He's going to go down as one of the great players in TCU history. and I think his legacy is written. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think, he, I think he goes down as one of the greats. It took just 12 games for Kean Anderson to enter the starting lineup at TCU. He would remain a starter for the next 118 consecutive games, setting a new TCU career record. Over the last four seasons, Anderson was TCU basketball. He was the glue for a program that was experiencing a monumental shift in the college basketball landscape. Which brings us right here to the Wilkerson Greatness Activity Center the temporary home for TCU basketball during Kean Anderson's senior season while the Daniel Meyer Coliseum undergoes massive renovations on campus. It's almost fitting that his career came to an end in this building, but to understand why, we're going to have to go back. Anderson's basketball career really took off right here at North Crowley High School, just seven miles from the TCU campus. The difference between Kean Anderson, because there's been so many really, really good basketball players that have come through North Crowley High School, is Kean was probably the most prolific winner that we've ever had here. When you talk about a state championship, his freshman year, and then three straight regional tournaments, no team he was on ever lost a home basketball game while he was here. No team that he was on ever lost a district basketball game while he was here. I mean, the kid just won, and every time that, you know, regardless of the group that was around him, you know, he was a winner on that on that group. Playing early against, you know, some of the top competition like, you know, Willie Warren and guys like that. So for the most part, I just feel like it prepared me just to get through the, you know, the tough times that were ahead of me. And not only did he play on a varsity team, but every day in practice, he played on a varsity team that was an eventual state championship team and a, and a national consensus public school champion. That was one of those deals where it was really fun to watch a kid that age with as much ability as he had, just try to kind of figure it out. Early in our practice and stuff, he would make passes that wouldn't get through. And you could just see it processing with him. Why? didn't that pass get there? That pass could always get through. And, you know, but he was playing with bigger and stronger and faster athletes. And, you know, just to watch him and watch his game change throughout that year as he was adjusting his game to the athleticism at the level he was playing was really, it, it was really neat as a coach. Kean Anderson is one of Fort Worth's own. After he finished at North Crowley, he chose to attend TCU over some larger and more tradition-rich programs such as Providence, USC, and Virginia. For Ken, it was all about representing Fort Worth, staying close to home, and getting to play in front of his friends and family. That's the whole reason why I came and, and made my decision to come and stay here. You know, family's right down the street, friends, and, and, and uh, can come out to every game they want to and things like that. He could have gone to Providence or he could have gone to USC or Virginia was in the mix late, real heavy. And I, you know, I know he took a long, hard look at Virginia. And, and for him to say, you know what, those guys are established. They've, you know, they've been successful. Let me come to TCU and help build this thing. And when you sit down with Kean, he tells you, you know, it, that he feels like he did his job. Uh, that this program is going to be better off because he came to TCU. And I don't think there's any question about that. So just to, to put the school on my back and actually make it, you know, cool to play basketball at TCU again. That was the biggest thing. As his career progressed, he took a lot of pride in being a Fort Worth young man that is playing for the Fort Worth University and trying to help build that program where everybody wanted it to go. Moving facilities was just one obstacle that Anderson faced during his time as a Horned Frog. His game never skipped a beat as the program moved from the Mountain West into the Big 12 Conference and hired a completely new coaching staff. The way I was able to stay positive throughout everything that you know the program has been through just with the coaching changes, the conference changes, you get a lot of people that are shut down or, or give up or you know try to try to play somewhere else or something like that so I guess just sticking with it and pretending through, through everything. I think the transition from Jim Christian to Trent Johnson was was really important for Kean. I think that grew him up a lot I'll be honest with you I think the demands the accountability uh, what Trent expected from him 
I think helped Kean as much as anything. It didn't give me enough time to just settle and, and think about the situation when it was happening. So it was more of just, you know, just, just make a decision off the fly what I wanted to do as far as, you know, Coach Christian leaving and things like that. It's definitely something just to, to move on from. And just as far as the conference, I just felt like it didn't matter where, where I was playing at it. You know, I was gonna play the same brand of basketball wherever. So as far as just the opportunity to play in the Big 12, you know, it being, you know, more competition and things like that. And I felt like it worked out for the best. Jumping up from the Mountain West level of competition to the Big 12 level of competition, you know, he had to continue to improve his entire game to be able to compete at the levels that they were asking him to compete at. The fact that he did stick through through thick and thin and a lot of thin, you know, at TCU, unfortunately. I mean, there was, there was a lot of things that, that didn't go his way, a lot of decisions that were made that were out of his hands. As a fan, if you want to go back and look on it, you would probably be disappointed to say, man, Keen Anderson deserved better. To stick with TCU through coaching changes when the young man could have stepped back and put himself in a different situation if he wanted to. I think that just speaks the world of him as a young man, his character, his loyalty, and what has helped make him be as successful as he's been. Anderson was truly an all-around college basketball player. He finished his career in the top 10 in 13 different offensive categories at TCU, including points and assists, proving that he's not only a great scorer, but also that he could set up his teammates. You know, looking back, you don't necessarily keep track of what's going on in your head and things like that, but it's sort of like a wow, you know, I did, I did all of that type of, type of situation. Definitely looking back, it's just it's crazy that I, I could accomplish those things. He was a playmaker. You know, it didn't have to be him that scored the ball. He was able to take and put defenses in a position where if they were going to stop him from scoring, that he was making a play for a teammate. He takes more pride in setting someone else up than he does in, in, in knocking down a three. He doesn't smile much on the floor. You know, the expression doesn't change. But when he set a guy up, you could tell in his body language that he was proud of what he just did. And I think that says a lot about his game. I just love to play the game. I love to win. I'm a competitor. And you know, sometimes I just want, you know, better opportunities for you know teammates rather than myself at times it's, it's it's great to see you know or set up one of my players for a basket opportunity and things like that and that gets them going you know to later on you know join with you when, when it counts even his favorite memory as a horn frog centers around his teammates well I, I definitely feel like when we beat Kansas at home the TCU horn frogs winless in Big 12 play are going to beat the number five team in the country, Matt. Nothing short of amazing, really. The first Big 12 victory in history for the Horned Frogs of TCU. Their first ever win over a top five team. There'll be Raptors running in the streets of Fort Worth tomorrow. What an incredible upset tonight here at TCU. You know, just seeing the reaction my teammates faces and, and things like that after we beat them and just the time that we had and you know to, to to get a good win like that and just to feel you know how that feels was was amazing it will be difficult if not impossible to replace a player like kian anderson as he begins to prepare for the next level one thing will remain certain anderson's name will forever be linked to tcu basketball history just like how the tcu community will always remain close to his heart I'd say I had a pretty, pretty successful career. I didn't really have too many goals besides just winning as much games as possible as I could, and you know, try to come in and turn this, turn this program around. I felt like the progression that I've had when I first got here to, to now was, was a big, was a big step, and I did pretty good for myself. When you talk to other coaches around the league, when, when they talk about TCU, the first player they mentioned were Keegan Anderson, and that's why he drew so much attention. Maybe that's where you get the respect. Maybe it's not in being named all conference or all district or anything like that, but maybe it is in just how they guard you, you know, and that's the ultimate respect. It was sort of just unreal for me, you know, just how fast the whole, my whole career went. But just the community itself, you know, the TCU community has been, you know, positive with me and my family. You know, probably just the thanks and, and, the, and the love that I've gotten from, you know, back from TCU. I owe it all to my family and the ones that's closest to me. Um, you know, they're, they're the ones that really just, just keep me motivated to keep going and keep doing it. So. For Frogs of War on SB Nation, I'm Andrew Feltz.